are streaming online. My name is Jane Eastham and I'm filling in this morning as Pastor Michael takes a little vacation time. So we wish him well this morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And at this time, uh, I will turn you over to Jean who is not Lisa Smith. I am not Lisa Smith. (laughs) I don't know how to play the organ, but I do know how to play the flute. (laughs) But I'm not going to play it today. So I am filling in for Lisa Smith, who is not feeling well. Uh, I am your liturgist for today's service. I'm very glad to be here and see everyone at Asbury. If you look inside your bulletin, you will see upcoming announcements, and we have a couple of friends that have some announcements also. Good morning, I'm Sarah Lehman. Um, Just an update on Boo at the Zoo. We had wonderful weather yesterday. Um, Reported that 1,080 people attended yesterday at the zoo. So we're hoping that they have a good day today. We'll be back there next Saturday from 10 to 3 again. Um, Hopefully next uh, weather for next weekend. Um, Just wanted to say a special thank you to Bob and Donna Muntz, Jeff and Kathy Saro, Jean and Anne Marie John Fania, Pastor Michael, my husband Nate, and Willow, Olivia, and Aaron helped out and enjoyed the event as well. Thanks to those that brought in candy. Um, we should be good next for next Saturday, so for candies. Um, so we're all set on that. But we do have some slots still for volunteers. The sign up is on the back table in the rotunda. I'll be taking that with me um, at the end of fellowship today. Um, but there's still a few more slots there. Um, thank you. Morning, I'm, I'm Bruce Irwin, uh, and I'm here this morning just to talk a little bit about the food pantry fund. We haven't made a report in quite a while, so I wanted to do that and to thank a couple of people. Um, our food pantry fund for 2024, this year so far, we have delivered to Urban Mission 15,920 items. 
That's uh, almost 3,000 items more than, than at this time last year. Um, we right now are basically the sliced bread supplier for the urban mission. Um, they, they get some bread products from Panera Bread and other suppliers, but they don't get sliced bread. So our church and our food pantry fund has been supplying uh, the bread for Urban Mission since I think Dave gave me the since January 11th we have been delivering 60 loaves of bread to Urban Mission every week and of course as you know on Communion Sunday we also are collecting bread last time it was 63 loaves that people brought in here so that week we uh, had 123 loaves of bread that we delivered now not only that, but more recently we have been supplying almost all the ramen that they need at Urban Mission. I'm not quite sure why that is, um, but that's the case. We've, we've been, uh, uh, last week we delivered 32 boxes of ramen. That's, uh, what's the quick, <laughs> I can't do the math, but there's 12 packs packets in every box, so 32 times 12 is uh, quite a number of uh, packets of ramen. So we're doing that. That's the good thing. The other, the thing that's not so good is the fact that because we're buying a lot of bread and now we're buying a lot of ramen, we don't have really enough money to buy too many other products So that we have done in the past. So, But we're supplying the two main things that they need. Uh, I would like to invite anybody that's not a member of the Food Pantry Fund to sign up with Dave Studley. He'll be, he'll be glad to sign you up. What we're asking is $5 a month or $60 a year to join the Food Pantry Fund. All the money in the food that goes from the Food Pantry to buy food, it comes from our members. It doesn't come out of the church budget. So that's, uh, that's important also. Dave told me that uh, he has signed up five new members this year. Is that correct? Five new members this year. So we're always looking for, for new members. And so if you want to do that, uh, see Dave. I also wanted to thank uh, the people that work with me. Of course, Dave does all the bookkeeping. He uh, goes out and gets the money for us. But in addition... Uh, Al John Fania has been my pretty steady partner for quite a while now. Uh, Bill Plemons has, has uh, substituted many times. And then more recently, Lorraine, my wife, has helped me a couple, a couple times. So that, that seems to be working out very well. I guess that's all I have about the food pantry. Uh, but a quick reminder about Salvation Army breakfast, pancake breakfast, French toast breakfast, is November 3rd. So that's coming up pretty quickly. We will have tickets for that next Sunday. Thank you. Good morning. Someone stole uh, my mission slot, some big shot, so I'm here to report at announcements. Admissions Committee this last Monday, we were able to make the following commitments on your behalf. We paid the second quarter contributions to our missionaries in Spain and in Africa, $600 and $300 respectively. We pledged to underwrite the concert costs this coming June after all fundraising efforts. We committed to supporting efforts in an Adopt-a-Platoon program we asked New Day to write an article for the Beacon, and we pledged to cover the costs of delivering those newsletters to those families at New Day. We committed to working with community dinners at Emmanuel Church January through April, along with $1,000. This year, it will be every Wednesday. We pledged to give the Salvation Army $500 for the, 500, for the holiday season, we unanimously voted to pledge $2,000 to UMCOR to provide relief for the mass devastation from Helene and Milton. 
Finally, I wanted to thank Jean, Jean Fania for volunteering to become a member of the Missions Committee. Thank you. The first music we will hear is called Praise Be to You, Jesus Christ by Johann Sebastian Bach. 